yeah, be sure to drop that. So, without further ado, here is Losing the Game by Black Heaven. I want y'all to check it out because it has a nice smooth rhythm to it. Be sure to check it out. You know, Dragon Sports Live. Never thought we'd come in. Never knew when I looked in your eyes that everything you told me and all the lies you sold me, all the while you wore this disguise. I should have known much better. You broke my heart and I let you I die. Calling me your baby, saying I'm your lady, claiming one day I'd be your wife. Life, boy, it's a losing game that you play. There are no winners here, and boy, it's a shame. I was your one and only I should have known that you didn't feel the same You're saying she's a friend now It's coming to an end now How many years do I live in this shame? Game, recognize game only I used to be your homie, your friend but everything is over I'm looking for another And hopefully she won't be the same Boy, it's a losing game That you play There are no winners here Boy, it's a shame And act like you know what I do uh-huh. Cause I'm a real good, good, good woman But even good women go bad when they go through what you put me through Mesmerizing me 
come on. She knows, she knows, she knows, she knows. So sexy, she knows. Gentlemen, welcome, welcome to another edition of Drag Sports Live. If you just tune in, I'm your host, Dante Payne. As you rock with us, listen to us, tune in to us, watch us, whatever you doing, as long as you tune in and listen in. So, those songs that you just heard here on Drag Sports Live, first song was Losing Game by Black Heaven, and then that second song was by Chicago's own Slick J. Adams. Got it for me. And we got a lot of news for you. So, like I said, welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. And let's get it cracking. Um, you know, speaking of losing game, you know, Cubs became one of a rare, like a rare feat you know, beat it came like a second team. They was up seven runs and then turn around and they lost by seven runs or seven plus runs and to lose fifteen to seven to the Brewers. Got swept by the Brewers the other day. So on top of it, the last time that happened was nineteen seventy six. Where the score was also fifteen to seven. Where a team was up by seven plus runs and then turn around and lose that game. And it was to the point where veteran pitcher Jake Arrieta was pulled from the game. And, yeah, I didn't like that. So, now they're on a six-game losing streak. They was going into that game on a five-game losing streak. Now it's a six-game losing streak. Hopefully they can break that streak um, The next with their next game. Next set of games, that streak will be broken. So. That's what it is. That's what's cracking. That's what the Cubs. Uh, Jose Abreu is in the starting lineup despite having a bruised knee. And centerfield Lewis Roberts is on track to return to the field. His activities have increased as far as baseball activities. They have increased. Probably do like a rehab assignment, but he shall be back in the lineup soon. So that's good news for the Sox. On the other hand, Cubs not so much. Like looking at the standings right now, um, we're still fairly decent. Give me one second. My uh, internet gave me a little lag, but how you guys are? How are you? Let me know. Drop comments. Um, shoot emails. You can even contact me via. Social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, nice and easy, Dragon Jump Pro, one word. And you can find me on those. You can also type in Dragon Jump Productions, and that will give you the what you need. Right? It'll give you what you need. But, yes, back to the standings, though. So, like I said, White Sox still sit currently in first. They are on a three-game winning streak. Boston Red Sox is on a six-game winning streak, and they still in the first in the East, America East. In the West, you got the Astros sitting first, but they're on a four-game losing streak. So I think the A's and Astros are currently tied for first. Actually, no, Houston's still in first by a small margin, win percentage margin. So Cubs on a, are sitting in second. They needed to beat the Brewers to end up to go to first, but the Brewers swept them. So, you know, it is what it is. That's what happens. It happens to the best of us. And, yeah, only thing you can say is just keep it moving. That's all you can say is keep moving, keep grinding, keep doing what y'all doing, but make sure we winning. 
that's all like I'm 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 just all I'm gonna say it like that. It's the bottom line. Just make sure we are winning, not losing, winning. So, you know, moving on. Blue Jays get reliever Adam um Simber back and court and outfielder Corey Dickinson for Marlins infielder Joe Pennick and minor leaguer Andrew McVale. And they basically was trying to make that move because the deadline's coming up for the trade deadline. That's j- happening July 30. So it was just trying to make some moves like they needed another reliever. Um, and they got a lot of outfield because, but Corey Dixon, he's injured right now. So he was an injured trade. But they, Blue Jays was kind of struggling on the pitching side. So, and then the outfield. The outfield position, you just added more depth with Corey Dixon once he comes back from injury. Good move. Good move on their part. And you also get cash consideration freed up some space, too. So, good moves on their part. San Francisco Giants, though, get uh, reliever Gregory Santiago's? Oh, Santos, my bad. I think I butchered your name, but Gregory Santos is the first, sus- he's suspended for 80 games for PED use. He tested positive for Stenzoid. So, he would join Paul Campbell Col- um, from Miami. Rockies third baseman Colton Walker, who's suspended for the 80-game ban. So, that's the third person this year who got suspended for PEDs. Um, so I hope for the best for him. I hope for best, you know, what's, what's happening, what's um, going on. Oh, anyways, that 80 games is without pay, by the way. So... Eighty games without no pay, and you don't want to get banned like that because that's a long time. Like, just ask the people who was banned before. That's a very long time, and you basically just sitting there watching the games, missing, being a part. Of like, oh, I need my team. Like, I need to be helping my team, but you can't. All you can do is cheer and be a cheerleader. Then at that point, so it is what it is. Anyways, Dylan Bundy of the Angels throws, well, he gets the most embarrassing moment. Like, basically, heat exhaustion. It was hot that day. It was high 90s. Um, And he just goes behind the mound and throw up. And this was a game versus the Yankees. It was, like I said, it was hot. It was 90s with the index making it feel higher. So, Sometimes that happens, heat is off, but you got to stay hydrated. Make sure you guys are drinking water. Make sure, especially like with these heat waves that we've been having lately, we just got to make sure we stay hydrated and and eat right. That's the best things we can do. Now, y'all know we had, y'all know we had this, um, uh, what we call it? This check, the inspection for foreign Sussex. Mariners pitcher Hector Santiago, third age 33, is suspended 10 games and was fine. He's the first player in the NFL to suspe- be suspended for foreign Sussex. Um, but on top of that, he's appealing it. So we'll see how that process go, but... He said the substance that was on there was rosin. He was like, we allow rosin. Rosin's on the mound in the glove. So we do allow rosin, right? And But basically they weren't having it, and they ordained it was for substance. So he suspended 10 games. We'll see what that appeal says. If he appeals it, then he'll be all good. But he's the first player, though. 
And then pitcher Tyler Skites of the Angels, his family is suing former employees, two of the former employees for the OD because uh, Skaggs passed away from a uh, drug overdose. So they're suing the two former employees because they said they provide that he that they provided them with that knowing he was um, addicted to it and stuff like that. So that family that that case is gonna get a little bit intense. I, look, cases I I'll give y'all the details once we find that, but that can be for a minute. That won't be for a minute, but until then, hey, just know that they fam that his family is suing. So, Indians will lose Josh Leyland. He will miss with the rest of the season. He had a collision with Ernie Clement. And has a leg fracture. So after surgery, that will determine the timetable of his return. If he can return this season. If not, let's just say, close to say, he missed the rest of the season right now. So he's out that. Um, in college, the College World Series, Mississippi State wins first title in any sport. So they haven't had a national title in any sport. And they win... They get the first title in the baseball side, in the Baseball World Series. They catch it at. So, like I said, that's their first title. Congratulations to them. Played a hard, far game. But, you know, it is what it is. That's the bottom line. <laughs> Mets pitcher Dylan Batanz is out for the season because of surgeries. Shoulder surgery? Um... He has not played. He only has p- pitched in one game this season, so he'll be out with the rest of the game. With after that soldier, ah, shoulder surgery. Keep wanting to say soldier feel, but it's not. <laughs> but yeah, he's out for the rest of the game, and you know you just gotta take it day by day. We do got some exciting games for you. That's happening today, this Thursday. July 1st, we got some very exciting games that's coming up. Um, I don't know if y'all been following baseball as much, but some of these games, the home runs has been up. Like, like I said, that Cubs game was 15-7. to One game was 20. They scored 20 runs. And I was just, like, in awe with that. Um... But the games we got today, so we got the Los Angeles Angels versus the New York, New York Yankees. Actually, that game was postponed. It's rescheduled for August 16th. But we still have Seattle versus Toronto. And then Kansas versus uh, Kansas City Royals versus Boston. Hopefully, they can get out that road game skid that they've been into for the far as the Royals. Chicago White Sox are home versus the Minnesota Twins, which means CTA may be packed today, so I'm riding my bike all day today. Texas versus Oakland. And then Miami versus the Phillies. No Cubs today, so they get a break, get a chance to recuperate. And, you know, that's what's going on. But we got some more music for you guys coming up on the show. We're going to talk about the Saints paying, got the highest paid, well, top paid right tackle in the NFL and more. So stay tuned, but... We got some more music on the way. We have Robin Reasons to Smile coming up live on Dragon Sports Live. I need y'all to check it out because it's coming in right about now. Robin Reasons to Smile coming up live on Dragon Sports Live. I need y'all to check it out because it's coming in right about now. Yes. Riding around 
downtown, top down, music cloud singing with my head out the window. It's in the past now, everything you did don't matter if I don't know. When I looked at me, I used to see a broken boy, but that's not me. I'm more than what you made of me. I hope you see that I've got a reason to smile. Cause the last time that you pushed me, I couldn't get up. I've got a reason to smile. Cause the last time that you hurt me, it was all my fault. Now I have recovered. I'm doing better. Taught myself how to love I me. Got a reason to smile. Cause the next time that you need me, I won't pick up. Man. 
niggas is living with war wounds. Know they gon' even the score soon. Turn up the fashion and strap on the vest. Cover the body, they smellin' the splash. Grind mode, don't enter on my road. Blindfold, I know my niggas is speaking in my code. Erasing these niggas like typos. Fuck on a bitch just to get to a op. Straight on the pussy, just give me the top. Found out it's me, then he been in the block. Catch all the heat, cause he married a thot. Fuck all that bullshit, I speak on the truth. Back full of money, I'm chasing the loot. Love all the ones that been deaf on the roof. All the new niggas I tell in the school. Came from the bottom, I gave it my all. Turn up the savage, you eat it, you fall. Pick up the phone and collect on the call. Read what you saw, my fam gonna ball. Put up a boy and they got him, my dog. Back on my feet at the auto withdrawals. Cry from the heart, but for you, I'm a ball. Fuck up the game to the curtain, it's called. I'm doing 99.95 on the highway. If I'm gonna fuck it up, I'm gonna fuck it up, fuck it up my way. We trippin', don't say where we land. The struggle was all in a plan. I'm thankful it made me a man. Don't pull up or roll me a strand. I'm doing 99.95 on the highway. I'm gonna fuck it up, fuck it up my way We trippin', don't say where we land The struggle was all in the plan I'm thankful it made me a man No poor, but roll me a shrine I used to pray for a half a bird Ain't know how to hustle, I had to learn I watch for a minute, I had a turn I wake up and pray for a way out They listen and send me to pay it out Still gotta take me with me out Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. That's the name of the show if you just tune in. Huh, let's check it out. That last song you just heard was Highway by King Jack. So be sure to look them up on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your music from. Make sure you look up King Jack. That song was Highway. So back into it. Kicking off with that young NFL. So Tanya Snyder, the wife of Dan Snyder, joins her husband as co-CEO. And basically the team is rebranded, so they basically, you know, a lot of teams are trying to promote that women can do it too. And brings that in. It's, but they're still under investigation because of the sexual harassment um, allegations that happened before from previous employees. So they're in the process of rebranding. They may also have a name for the team come 2022. So that would be a surprise. So we get tired of saying the Washington football team, they'll have a, a name and a logo, hopefully, what well, they say by 2022, according to them. Let's see what happens. But congratulations on Tanya becoming a co CEO. And, you know, just keep it in the family. That, and that's the best way to do it, and, you know. Keep it in the family. Keep it, keep it 100. Just make sure y'all work together and continue to work together. So, Demarius Thomas is he announced his uh, retirement, but he's going to do it as a Bronco. He was drafted in 2010, second leading receiver with nine nine thousand and fifty five catches. Um, only Cheryl and Rod Smith. 655th, I should say 655 catches with the Broncos. Overall, 724 catches, 9,763 yards total, 63 TDs. So, he had a good career. Congratulations on to on that. Um, hard fault, well fault. Now it's time to follow your endeavors and whatever you're doing outside of the life of football. Like, you reach your dream, conquer your dream. It's like anytime you able to say, I'm retiring from the game, even though my dream was to play in the NFL, and after you complete your dream, you feel like, okay, now it's time to hang it up. Now it's time for the next step in life, whether that be announcing, whether that be assistant coaching or coaching, whatever. Life takes you. You got it. You did it. You deserve it. You earn it. And that's all I got to say on net. Because, yes, congratulations. NFL cancels the supplemental draft again for the second consecutive season. It's the third time not held since 1977. Um, It wasn't held last year, and it wasn't held in 2018. And it's not going to be held again this year, so... 
um, 2018, it was due to the fact that it didn't have any, they didn't have enough participants. Because basically that's like anybody who should have been drafted or could have been drafted, they would get invited to do the supplemental draft and still basically get picked up by the team. But since it's not enough participants or they just decided to cancel this year, um, they're going to keep it moving. And all NFL teams is approved for full capacity after the okay from the Colts. So now all NFL teams will be at full capacity come opening day as far as the stadiums. And New York Jets signed right tackle Morgan Morris to a one-year deal. And we all been waiting for. So Saints signed right tackle Ryan Runzak to a five-year, $96 million deal, extension, which makes him the top pay RT. Now, he is deserving of it, and it's like, as you look at these signings nowadays, the market has changed. It's not just um, like, oh, this position. Like, the market has changed. The same thing goes for tight ends. You got tight ends, uh, again, to pay top dollar, but I think they should get paid top dollar anyways like a receiver because they are another receiver. They block, they put their body on the line, they also catch and throw pace. Sometimes you have a blocking tight end, sometimes you have a passing tight end, and you got a pass catching tight end. So they're deserving to get paid a little bit more. Very deserving on that. Same thing with right tackle. Like, he's deserving. He's been put in their work, shutting down people left and right. So, congratulations on that. Um, NFL can't confirm Patrick Chung's racist claim from the official. They said, like, they can't confirm it, so they basically going away from it. Basically, that's that's basically what it boils down to, that they're going away from it. Um, they can't find any evidence, so they're like, okay, we're going um, to keep them moving. But, you know, offseason as well, Mac Jones is still getting a lot of praises, which that's good. That's good for them. And we got potential... Moves as that deadline pro, pro, that approaches for uh, franchise tax to sign long term deals, or else they'll be playing on the franchise tag. That I believe that date is July 15th. So we have that. And NFL camp is well on the way. Lawrence is looking great in camp, he's just gonna take it day by day. Um, he might not be day one starter. But. And you, you remember moves that, like, from last year that happened? So, like, y'all remember when the Bills acquired tight end Zach Ertz? Like, that's moves, like, do more moves that you should make. Um, Miami should get resolved cornerback to Xavier Howard's contract situation, as well as New England Patriots should set out Stephen Gilmore's contract because he's in his final year of his deal, and he's set to make $7 million. He wants more, like, renegotiate his contract. Ravens sign Edge Rust to Justin Houston. And then Bengals just then safety Jesse Bakes the third. Brown should just then Wyatt Teller as guard. But there's many things that's going on. So, 
yeah, many things going on. We got to check that out. We got to keep it moving. Not too much going on as far as NFL right now. Other than, you know, the retirements and cancel of the supplemental drive. But, you know, NFL is pretty chill right now. But we'll keep you guys posted on more. Oh, another thing. NCAA athletes have been approved to um, basically make compensation. So, like, endorsement deals. Um, They've been approved. They basically just took away that rule where they said they can't make money. So now they'll be able to make money from, like, endorsements and stuff like that. Which is good. I don't know why why y'all was hindering. I'm like, they're college students. They're broke anyways. So they do need money to pay for, unless they got a full ride scholarship. But, you know, it is what it is. But, without further ado, if you just tuning in, you are listening to Dragon Sports Live. If you miss any part of this podcast, you can always rewind it back on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or wherever you get your podcasts, and check it out. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, Dragon Jump Pro, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Dragon Jump Productions, on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to drop a like. Drop a comment. Anything that you need. Be sure. That you know. We check it out. But we got some more music for you here on Dragon Sports Live. So without further ado. I give you Keith J. Everybody looking. Check out Keith J. I give you Keith J. Everybody looking. Check out Keith J. Hey. It's a situation, if you didn't know. L Y Keys D nine three P. Everybody looking, everybody looking. All these whips we whipping, giving everybody whoopings. Why everybody looking, everybody looking. Y'all girls getting tucked they fall through like coins and cushions. Hey, everybody looking, everybody looking. Chef Curry cooking special dimes. That's LeBron no looking, yeah. Everybody looking, everybody looking. We pull up to the function, we got everybody looking. I pull up to the party, they like who is she? Uh, beat me up, Scotty, that's my jewelry. A hundred K in two weeks on Zach TV. I drive, gave us a buzz, that's worth a bumblebee. Yes, it's sweet, blessing gifted she Doing splits by rolling spliffy T. Think it's different pitches, by the way I hit this misses. It's a difference, haters wish I'm well, like it's penny pitching. Pockets Hercules, kicks on Pegasus. I go the distance, do more, say less. Cause I'm trying to be the best. If I put a feet on her, she gon' have to pay for sex that's worth the tricks and laugh like Johnny they can't test no time for DDs I am dead can't guard a dog when she make Jimmy brain blast I'm from Chicago where they let Tully's clap 290 OS yeah that's where I'm booling at say the wrong thing and you might just get your koofy whack when clips drop can't bring the movie back poets night like oh he snapped huh. everybody looking everybody looking all these whips we whipping giving everybody whoopings why everybody looking Everybody, everybody looking, y'all girls getting stuck in. They fall through like coins and cushions. Hey, everybody looking, everybody looking. Chef Curry cooking special dimes. That's LeBron no looking, yeah. Everybody looking, everybody looking. We pull up to the function, we got everybody looking. I wrote this on the toilet, y'all gon' know this. Yeah, who that boy Keith J? They say he's so legit. Curry with the shot, walk off, I know it hit. My watch is walking on water, know who Moses is, know this is. Flow so unpredictable, make it jiggle low for jiggle lows. My pace up getting bigger, figure, I need thicker.
Everything's on high notes, Mariah Carey flow Flip that game, I got an Aereo Gave me so much tell, I couldn't tell if she was Aereo Now she my ex, why? Cause I can't rock with variables She buck like Timmy Feli, though, no fairies though It's busting at the Fifi, got them freaking geeky Told me Capti, she won't ring like creepy She be creeping, tweaking, told her she can get the VP If she break her friends like Fifi, uh She's a wood packer with the wood I'm a packer, get the best of sex she ever Receive gold Deep, ODB, she's a catcher, ball like Mecca's, ain't nobody better, everybody looking, everybody looking, uh, all these Wesley whipping, giving everybody whoopings, why, everybody looking, everybody looking, y'all girls get it took and they fall through like coins and cushions, hey, shout out Cap G. Out of party, kinda sorty, we in different times Don't you doubled up your double cup, I guess you sippin' times for Me and your favorite rappers, I said what I'm tired for Told her put me on, she put me on like I'm some time for it Too bad I'm not into name brand drip on top I won't stop until I slip my drop If you cop my new music, I flock I think not, I'm way too lit, they mad Cause my music's so different, don't care Cause I think I found my niche Not fair, but I'll take the hate you give, I swear won't change the way I hit. I got most my fashion from Japan and that's a fact Yeah, you crossed my mind a couple times, ain't going back I know all my lines won't double take, I won't react Now I'm feeling great, I'm feeling good, I feel like, I feel like I feel like I feel like At a party instead You're watching cars one my bread I can't understand a word you said Too bad I'm not into name brand drip on top I won't stop until I slip my drop If you caught my new music I flock, I think not I'm way too lit They mad cause my music's so different Don't care cause I think I found my niche I swear I swear Won't change the way I is I got most my fashion from Japan And that's a fact Yeah, you crossed my mind a couple times Ain't going back I know all my lines won't double take I won't react Now I'm feeling great I'm feeling good I feel like I feel like I feel like I feel like Welcome, welcome back to Dragon Sports Live. That last song that you just heard was Nobi, I Feel Like. So be sure to check out all these artists on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Apple Music, not Apple Podcasts. But you can check me out on Apple Podcasts. But check them out. Make sure you support them and let them know what you think of their music. I really like their music. That's why it's on my show. So... I can put your music on here too. You just say the word, send the message. I got you. Anyways, have y'all been watching these playoffs lately? I'm just saying, have y'all been watching these playoffs lately? So, Hogs guard Trey Young, he was out for game four. Okay, he ruled out for game four, but the Hogs didn't need him. Everybody stepped up in that game. Um, they were shooting. They was getting buckets left and right. They was they was pretty much just balling without Trey Young for game four. But the, um, the bad thing was Giannis went down with almost a gruesome injury. But here's the thing. He has no structural damage as far as the game. So he's probably for 
Game 5, which is happening later on Thursday night. So it's very probable for Game 5, um, as well as Capella, who was poked in the eye, and a couple other ones. But like I said, the last Game 4 was a good game. Well, I should say it was a good game for the Hawks. Let's put it like that, because they beat the uh, Bucks 110 to 88. And, like I said, no Trey Young. But you had Bervonovic stepping up, Herder stepping up, Bervonovic with 20, Herder with 15. Lou Williams stepping in, you know, the veteran with 21. And Clint Capella with 15. And then you also had Cam Reddish come back, and who hasn't played in four months. He come back and you get you 12 off the bench with Garinari. So they team stepped up big time. You didn't really get contribution from the bench for as far as the Bucks, but you had Holiday with 19 and Milton with 16. Antetokounmpo with 14 before he went down with injury. So it's like you you had the big the three step up, but you need everybody to step up in this case. Like say you may not have Giannis for the next game. So this summer, your backyard will be the place where everyone comes together to You're not gonna have Giannis for the next game. And you guys are in Milwaukee. So Chris Milton. Drew Holiday, you guys are gonna have to step up, but everybody gonna have to step up as a team. But y'all too, since y'all the two superstars, it's on y'all to take over. If y'all don't have Giannis playing in that game, we shall see what happens with that. The first ever Kareem Kareem Abdul Jabbar Social Award that's going to Blazers Carmelo Anthony, and it's basically a award for rewarding all the social de justice things, um, activities that you've been doing outside of the NBA, outside basically using your platform to preach and do things for the community. That word is going to Carmelo Anthony, so congratulations on him on that. Chauncey Billups just signed a five-year deal to become the coach of the Blazers, since we're talking about the Blazers. And the first thing he talks about is the 1977, 19, well, 1977, the 1997 incident of the, the sexual assault allegations. And he was like, people are making decisions and, and stuff like that. He adjusts that immediately, but he's looking forward to coaching this team. He's looking for it kind of at close times. Like, Billups is a guard, and you got two superstar guards. If they keep both of those guards, you got two superstar guards that can benefit for somebody from Chauncey Billis. You know, Dan Tyne, you know, emanates him with his buzzer beating shots, his his game. But having a guard, a former guard as your coach, I think will benefit you two very well. And they, he also is a very good defender. So he also has, a, you know, a, a title from when he was with the Pistons. So I'm looking forward to seeing that, and it's good to see another brother get a coaching opportunity that is very deserving of it. Like, he's been an assistant with the Clippers, and well, I think he just finished up since the Clippers got bounced by the Hawks, I mean by the Suns, and I'll talk more about that in a second. But, yeah, Chauncey's um, new coach, five-year deal for the Blazers. So big ups to him on that. Congratulations. Welcome to Portland. So, speaking of the Suns, Suns advanced to the NBA Finals for the first time since 93. Behind Chris Paul's 41 points, they advanced to the Finals. We even had 
contributions. So Aiton with uh sixteen points, seventeen boards, Crowder with nineteen points, and then Booker with twenty two. And we even had Payne coming off the bench, being the hype man, seven points and seven assists off the bench. But Paul was the man that night. Eight assists, three steals, four rebounds, 41 points. On top of that, he joins another legendary player where he he joins Jordan. You know, Jordan was 33, but he scored... 30 plus points in each of his games, and so has Paul. So big ups to them. First final since, well, third final in franchise history, but, you know, first since 1993, where they made it to the finals. So celebrate while you can, but make sure y'all get ready for the finals. Yeah, celebrate when y'all get ready, prepare for the finals. On top of that, uh, Clippers, basically Chris Paul was saying if we had a healthy Kawhi Leonard, we'll be able to, we would have been moving on. Because he was just missing a key piece, a couple pieces, but you had great contributions from Morris, Jackson, and Cousins in that game. Just wasn't quite enough. Even had Patrick Beverly with his antics getting ejected too in the fourth quarter for shoving uh, Chris Paul. But at the end of the day, you guys lost, and y'all had a hard-fought battle. So try again next year. Add some more pieces and then try again. Keep pieces if you need be, and we shall see what happens. But try again next year. Speaking of, you know, another year, so... Kevon Looney is exercising his 5.1 million option to stay with the Warriors. So let's keep him. And he's actually starting to develop a little bit more. I like what I'm seeing from his game. And I like what you see. But yeah. It is what it is. Boban Mermanovic is actually proud of his Serbian team. As y'all know, qualifying for the Olympics is underway. He scored 18 points with 10 rebounds in the 94-76 win over the Dominican Republic. And then other scores from, you know, Olympic qualifying. You got Lithuania scoring 76 to Venezuela 65. Portland beating, not Portland, Poland (laughs) beats Noga. 83-64, Eighty-three to sixty-four, and then Germany with the eighty-two to seventy-six victory over Mexico. So, and Brazil demolishing Tanzania, eighty-three to fifty-seven. Was that? So let's see what happens with the finals. So we got the Hawks game tonight. In case y'all. Just tuning in, y'all didn't mention this summer. Check that out. Um, this is game five, so let's see who become victorious Adventure. out of that. And then on top of that, Jerry Cangelo of the Olympic team, he basically was saying that LeBron James' Olympic career is pretty much over, and he was staying like old age, and then basically the M- LeBron. Le- declined to invite the last two years so he just saying it's over like basically it's over with we may not see him in the olympics again we did see him olympics for a period of time but like i say he declined the last two cycles and so jerry cangelo basically would just say we may not see him play in the olympic like his olympic career is pretty much over so we'll see what happens with that but y'all know WNBA is still on and popping. All-Star Game, I believe, is next week. Wow. Yeah, next week. Um, We got Chicago Sky has got three represented, as well as the Sun. They got each got three representing All-Star Game. You got 
Gar uh Ford, Candace Parker. This is her sixth appearance with Courtney Vandersloot, her third, and Kilo Cooper, her first. And then Suns got the four guard, Dewana Bonner, as our fourth, and Jaquel Jones, third, Brianna Jones, first. So you got seven first timers, Mystics, for the All Star game. Like I said, that's next week. But it's good to see that Chicago is going to be represented in the All Star game. It's also Candace Parker's first game representing her hometown because she is from Chicago. So it's her first representing her hometown, which is an honor to do that. And congratulations to y'all on that. All Star game is on the 13th of July. Team WNA versus Team USA. So check that out. Um, Mystics Wave 3, basically in to make their rotation, they're going to be flexible. Um, they Wave 2019 first-round pick, Kiara Leslie, as well as Stella Johnson and Megan Grusfan. Wave them to kind of make things flexibility, but they do have until next Thursday, I believe, to sign these wave players or if not you can do a seven day contract you can do up to three seven day contracts with that same team but you can still sign with multiple teams so if you've been wave you'll be able to get picked back up if not oh well diana tarasi scores her ninth nine thousand career points she's the first WNBA player to reach that stat, and congratulations on her that. She actually made that point on the first opening basket with a layup. So, congratulations on that. Nice to see that milestone. Hope you continue to conquer and destroy milestones. But congratulations on that. I'm going to sign off and let y'all know how the Hawks and Bucks game go. Who won? So stay tuned for the next edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne. I'm signing off. You guys have a lovely and great blessed day. And let's make sure we are staying safe. Peace out.